Welcome back, folks. Green Beef here again with more RimWorld with the Space Haven uh, crossover that we've been playing. So the food truck ship has retired. It is done. Got old Grail W here with his fancy abilities to create sunlight. Got some hunting going on out here. I think they're a guest, right? Yeah, I like to quest. Give me some goodwill with Quahibrium. Quahibrium. Got a little barn here. We got our donkeys. Thanks, Randy. You're a swell guy. You're the sweller feller. How are we doing here? It's got food poisoning, of course. Donkeys are not trained. I'm going to leave them untrained for a little bit. I don't want to spend food. Get all this stuff. Nice. Nice. We can start brewing again. Well, brewing, period. It's a little chilly indoors because it's kind of chilly outside. Some rooms are fine. Manhunter pack of uh, monkeys. How many? Two. Well, we got something for that. We got the old snipper riffle. We got the light machine gun. Right, let's keep moving. Let's get you guys out here ready to fight. Donna's out here hunting with a little pistol. Where are those monkeys? Where did the monkeys go? I don't see them. I do not see them. I guess let's look at the wildlife screen and we'll, uh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Kana. Attack the monkeys. You will beat them down. Uh, we're gonna send some reinforcements your way. Try to save you where we can. Oh, we'll patch you up if you die. It'll be fine. We're just gonna pistol whip monkeys for a little bit. Yeah, you pistol whip that monkey. Get out of here, you dirty 20 year old monkey. Come on. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit. There you go. All right. Well, that was a uh, crisis averted. I probably should have paid attention to where they were. But I didn't. How you doing? Not great. Not great. You're bleeding a little bit. You've been punched by monkeys. You got bit in the left arm. Not cool. You may notice less clicks from my keyboard. I swapped out my keyboard for one of my older, uh, softer keys. Not mechanical. Quest available. Dusty refugees. Uh, three desperate refugees are approaching. The leader is called Sylvie. They say they escaped from a slave caravan. Sylvie begs you for permission to stay at Phaedra for 20 days so they can rest and regroup. In return, they offer to work and fight for free during that time. If you make them happy, some of them may offer to join you. They may also reward you later for helping them. There's no way to know their true intentions. These refugees are not part of any faction. If you wish, you can choose to kill, arrest, sell, or harvest without diplomatic repercussions. I'll accept. Welcome aboard, JT, Pollard, and Selby. We're gonna have to give you some beds. Uh, we got our prisoner here, old Ombus, Ombus, Ombus. Uh, that's ominous. <laughs> Let's uh, drop some beds. Just three right there. What can you guys do? You can do these things. I'm not gonna have you mine. I'm not gonna have you grow. You can mine, you can do that. No smithing or tailoring. No art, no craft. You can do cooking though. You can do handling, you can't. Cool. Oh, we got help. You can go on. Man, we might catch up on a lot of stuff now. That'd be great. Burying bodies. We got a party. That's great. This'll be fun. Maybe we'll catch up on cleaning this place up. It's kind of a dump. I'm gonna sit some people to chop some wood. Uh, there's already some orders out there, but we'll get more. You can always use more wood. Harvest that stuff, please. Uh, there's a 
the dirty monkeys. Party's going on. It's party time. Got some donkey love going on out here. Might make some more. <laughs> we will see. Oh, Pollard, what are you doing? You just got here. Oh, there goes that fire. <laughs> now we got fire foam everywhere. I mean, I guess that kept him from uh, really causing damage. Out here. Or in there, rather. What is our deal? Why is nobody cooking? Make me ten of those. Might as well make some uh, chairs for these guys. It's getting to be a lot of fire. Not a fan. Could you, could you just stop, please? I mean, you just got here. You literally just got here. How are your needs so bad? Can we, uh, can we deal with that? That'd be, that'd be fantastic. That's in our hometown. Why aren't you working on it? Rail's like, what the hell just happened? I invite these guys into my home, and then they set everything on fire. Waste my little fire foam popper. Well, at least you're helping. Good. A little bit of rain. That's nicey. Nice. That's nicey. Rainy. How you doing, Kana? Yeah, you're all patched up. All of your wounds should go away. Let's look at our available quests. We've got this. A friend needing help. We are helping him out. Alright, Kana's here. Good. Good. Nothing available. We got some thunder and lightning. It's giving out your recharges and a side focus. Well, we got a little fire out here still. It may peter out, just because there's not as much to catch on fire over here. Perhaps. Let's go ahead and set that to a temporary home area here and here. I don't want to burn everything down. Thank you, Selvi. Selve, Selvi. <laughs> uh, what else do we need? Do we need any more clothing? I don't think so. Thank you, Pollard. I appreciate the uh, effort there. Donkey's out here. Do I have a grazing area set up? I don't think I do. So let's go ahead and edit that. Uh, expand a lot of area. We'll do area one. That will be in the barn. And out here. I'll let you graze way up here. That's a nice safe grazing area. You can go munch on things out there and even over here. I'll allow that. Now let's look at our animals. And we'll set them all to area one. Let's rename this one to Barn Plus Graze. Done. There you go, donkeys. You got your own area. Need this to get done. What's the deal with this? A lack of wood? So it would seem. It's his problem. Food poisoning. Everybody's got food poisoning. I realize that. Let's look at work again. I'm going to let all these guys do research just in case they get bored. And I would like them to do it. Oh no. I think that'll peter out eventually. I'm not too worried about it. Worst case, it oh no, it'd burn all that. For now, we're gonna do this. We'll make all this our home area. And I guess I'll do this for now and then come back to it, clean it up. Yeah, we'll set all that, that's good. We got a home area out to there. Let's go ahead and clear this as home area though. I don't wanna deal with that. Or this side of it. Now we can clear this. Good. I feel like we're getting somewhere now. People are starting to move stuff. That means cleaning's coming shortly. Nice. We're getting a little supply of food. Planting some taters. I will probably expand out into here and build this out, like put some buildings up here, maybe. I don't know yet. Maybe make this into like a tavern. Because that sounds fun. 
Could be built out of stone masonry. Stone cutter's table still going. Art is not arting. Yeah, if I can get them done. How many more days are you here? 3.6. Slowly working on old Armbus here. Do I really want them though? What is their health? The right hand shot off. Like, maybe you're not the best, but what do you do? Medical, social, shooting, melee. Oh, well, the cat. I thought this said the cat people. No, cat people. Attacking immediately. We got one. Well, we got a guy who's good at that. He can just hang out here, do his thing. I mean, that should go away. You stay here for now. Worst case, I'll have you club them to death. Light them up. Blammo. Headshot. Go. Get in there. Ooh, that was close. Yeah, club them to death. That is dangerous. I don't want him to get dead. Pull back. Oh, man, you shot him. Run away. All right, I need you to go get help. You are hurt quite badly. We'll bring that in. Let them do their thing. That should go away. I don't want them really working on that. So right now we've got what? Slate wall. Cool. Slate's good. Uh, I would like to block this off so they all get funneled over here. And we only have to defend one front. So I'm going to do that. The only downside is I'm going to have to go all the way around to get there. So I might put some doors there to really funnel them in, too. We'll see. Oh, quite busy. Hey, we got another donkey. Welcome aboard, donkey. You're going to go to the barn plus uh, graze area and do that. I think I'm going to get rid of this. Orders, mine. Get rid of this, this, this. I'm going to slowly rip that down. So I want to clear this area. Make it so there's no cover or concealment for these ding-dongs that attack me. Whoa, whoa, we had, oh, they got wet. Yeah, I need to fix that. So let's do structure. Let's start building this out of steel because I think we have enough of that. All right, this is where we're going to start our little battery farm. Give me a nice steel door on that bad boy. And we'll mine this out. All the way back here. And then we'll just go back into the, the base. Cool. Yeah, everything's getting planted. That's great. Now that shouldn't explode on me anymore. Problem solved. <laughs> Gotta clean up all this foam. Like, it's great. It's not going to catch on fire, but, you know, that causes other problems. Well, I guess we are working on a sculpture. Oh, we got visitors. They might have stuff to trade. Great. Who's my trader? Not my traitor. Not my trader. Uh, we've got Grail W with a three. Kana, you're actually pretty good. JT. I think it's Kana. Kana, you're going to do my trading for me. How is this? A poor. Well, we'll, we'll sell that to the poors. What's up, my friends? Welcome, welcome to the, the area of things. I'm going to sell this crappy one that's broken. You're going to get sold. I'm keeping my, my good old assault rifle. Uh, we got the cowboy hat. I'll keep that. I'll sell you this for 89 bucks. And I'll buy these off you. I, I feel like that's a fair trade. There we go. 
Please uh, haul those and throw it in there so we have it for away missions. Good. Great. Getting that modding done. I'm going to start building more batteries. Let's go back to power. Oh, I stole that. That's right. Well, never mind. I will not build one. How you doing, JT? You're all patched up. Oh, it wasn't even my sniper that hit him. It was the uh, auto pistol. Oh, well. Uh-oh. Well, I'm going to use Mark Little's little trick. Little trick. You can get that nice glitter world medicine, and you'll be fine. Who's going to tend the tendies? Tend them. I need a bigger table in here. How you feeling? You feeling good? Your immunity is growing quite quickly. Uh, your infection is at 11. I think you're going to be okay. But we'll see. We will see. If he dies, that's going to suck. I mean, I'm giving him the best medicine. And we're eating kibble, so that's great. <laughs> God, what is going on? Go hunting, please. Kill me some gazelles. Uh, actually, leave at least one male and female. Kill me some turtles. We'll eat them. Ooh, we can get some yaks. Somebody kill that cougar, too. They're going to be a problem eventually. Oh, my God. Bold choice there, Grail W. Really banking on their ability to hit things. How's your uh, shooting going? <laughs> nah, yeah, it's going. It's growing a little bit. Oh no, Cougar Revenge. Light machine gun versus Cougar. Who wins? Oh, well, this is going to be close. Now we have to beat it to death. It's hurting pretty bad. I think we'll be fine. That's not good. She's hurt. She's going to bleed to death in 14 hours if somebody doesn't take care of her. So hopefully uh, somebody does. How are we doing on doctors? We've got plenty of doctors to handle this. How's he doing? How's your health? Your infection is minor. Immunity is 27. Infection is 32. Ugh. Ugh, that's not good. Uh, Kana, you're getting kicked out. I'm going to put JT in there. Get into an actual bed, my friend. Kinda, I want you to clean all the fire foam. Make sure there's a nice clean room for him to sleep in. You get on that fire foam. Yeah, that's a little better. Uh, oh, you're getting the glitter world. I did not mean to do that. Well, at least it's really good quality. Feeding him a cougar. I mean, hey, she got to eat the heart of the animal that took her down almost. Hmm. Apparently some of those were allowed to eat. Not cool, man. How you doing, JT? Major infection. 3845. I'm hoping the Glitter World medicine really uh, brings him back. go. No, you should have cooked it. <laughs> Come on, people. You're killing me. Oh, days. Thought there was something else going on. Well, she should be fine eventually. I think she'll pull through. Alright, we've got old Athanasia and Selby. Not in a great mood right now. Kind of in a mental state of sorts. Someone's shooting. It's not Grail W, is it Kana? It is. Just lighten them up. We're getting some meat. I think we'll be fine on that front. We'll catch up on it. Where's our fridge? There's the fridge. We've got food. We just need people to cook. How's our work status? It's not bad. Not bad at all. Actually, I'm going to turn Kana on to cooking. Because they're not doing it. 
We got old Armbus here. Armbus, not Armbus. Can I recruit him? I think I can. And I will need him. I will need somebody here. Because Connor's going to leave. Selby, JT, and Pollard, they're going to leave eventually too. And we're going to be down a few characters. Down to just two again. What do we have? We got the dusty refugees. The refugees. We've got a friend needing help. This one, he leaves in 1.5 days. So, Kana, <laughs> we've only got you for a little bit, bro. These guys, we'll have them for a little while. 16 days. So, that's good. Our battery bank room is coming together nicely. Let me set that to a roofed area. Let's slow it down a little bit here. Build roof. There. Perfect. Get another body. Let me fix this. I've got this. Right, let me go ahead and fix this storage. So it does not allow fresh. And we'll set this to allow animal corpses. Okay, so it does allow it. They're just biasing towards this one. I see. I may move my butchering table here or move my kitchen over here and put another door right there. Caribou sitting. Ah, the Chief of Dorna Confederacy is looking for a safe settlement to take care of his pet caribou specs for 15 days. I can do that. Do I want goodwill? A great bow? That could be good. I'm thinking Glitter World Medicine. That way we can potentially save our dudes. And money. Welcome aboard, caribou. Jump to location. Where are you at? Hello. You might get a little, uh... No, no, it's actually pretty chilly. This is like perfect temperature for you, bud. Alright, you're gonna go into the grazing area. Who's got a medical emergency? What's his deal? Oh, he's got that infection. He'll survive, though. Yes. Great. I'll take care of that caribou. Is it a male or female? It's a male. Can I get any fur? No, you can't. You don't really shear a caribou. Oh, well. Athanasia, could you, uh... Oh, he ate a corpse. Great. Great. Well, it wasn't a human corpse, so that's, you know, a plus. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe I move this off to its own room. Maybe. I could put it, like, right in here. Or just move it over here so at least it's not dumping all the blood and guts right there. When is this not have juice? Oh, because I think I switched it off. Yeah, no? Yeah, I think I turned it off. Which is smart because uh, I don't need it. Because <laughs> it's cold outside. Alright, that mine's about done. comes the manhunter pack of monkeys. How many? How many monkeys? Randy, you're a dick. Let's hunt those. We'll get our best hunters on here. Which I want to put you in this doorway just in case you need to retreat. I'll let you guys work though. You need to go on attack mode so you can smack them monkeys down as soon as they get up to you. Counter, you're set to attack. Okay, good. Where do you have monkeys? Come on in. Come on in. How long of a shot can you take, Grail? How long of a shot will you take? And that should be about it. Take it. Take him down. Oh, you missed. Oh, man, nice shot. Incoming. Oh, donkey, no. No, don't you walk in my line of fire. Well, that was unfortunate, I guess. <laughs> Good job, fellas. Good job. 
We'll take that, that monkey body. Dumb donkey. <laughs> it just walked right into my line of fire. Took a round. Now we got on plant cutting. Yeah, everybody should be doing plant cutting. I've noticed that's a problem in one of my other playthroughs. Going ahead and fixing everybody's medical stuff back down to this. Uh, I can't remember if there's a way I can do it here. I can. So you're going to get herbal. You get herbal. And you get herbal. There we go. That was a great piece of advice from old Mark. So I'm going to hopefully finish this room now that uh, we have a little bit of wood on hand. Hopefully. That way we can uh, make Athanasia a little more happy about her situation. How's the social going here? Her husband is Nate Ortega, who's with Ica Habirium. Uh huh. Oh, there we go. Just a little bit more and that will be done. Let's go ahead and set this for Athanasia. Great. She should have a nice impressive bedroom now. Fantastic. We are basically clear cutting this area, so that's phenomenal. Got chairs for these. Although now I might move them, so. Ugh. Uh, yeah, if I moved it over here and put a door. Oh, shuttle arrived for Kana. Kana, thank you for joining me. I appreciate the uh, the accompaniment and the help with the work. Godspeed. What do we get? Uh, it increased by one. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. So it went up a little bit. Guess it was better than, you know, negative. <laughs> I don't think that works that way. Alright, we're starting to catch up on things. This is good. This is really good. I'm not going to, like, introduce any new tasks for them because we still have food. No, we don't. <laughs> we don't. Never mind. I might have to give somebody some hunting orders. Uh, wildlife. There's plenty out here. Plenty. We'll kill that one last boar. We'll deal with, uh... Take care of that cougar, please. I'm going to leave the yaks, although... Just a lot of, uh, what, females? Yeah, female yaks. Whole bunch of muffalos out there. Let's uh let's prune the herd a little bit. Let's give her a little bit of lighting in her room here. Boom. Boom in the room. We'll go ahead and throw a nice little drawer. How about right there? And we'll give her an end table. Boom. Should be happy with this at this point. What's up, donkey? How you doing? You the one that got shot? No. No? I guess you all healed up. Great. Old Specs is doing okay. I think. <laughs> I don't think he's starving. JT's getting a bunch of haul undone. We still have that assault rifle. That's great. Getting some good hunting in. Great. That'll allow them to make some food, but I'm gonna let them catch up on some jobs and I'll catch you guys in a minute. Oh, betrayal after. <laughs> after. Oh, Cabirium. Ooh. What do you give me for this? I kinda like them. I don't wanna I don't wanna screw them over. That's probably gonna make them mad though, maybe. Maybe. Where to go? Oh, you gotta look at this one. I see. I see. Eh, you know what? I don't like betraying. Although in my other playthrough that I've been doing on the side, oh crap! Oh no! Everybody's got the flu. In the other playthrough I've been doing, I had these guys. They were they're doing great. They were great help, and then they uh, they decided to betray me. Set my whole building on fire, which caused the death spiral of my entire colony. It was a tribal one. It wasn't going so good. 
Oh, great. We got a social fight going on. Grill W won that one. Suck it, Sylvie. He's building that skill. What is he up to now? An expert. Pretty good. Pretty good. I will need to pro. Uh, I'll have to start looking into like throne rooms and stuff, maybe. I'm not sure. This is like the first playthrough that I've done where I didn't have to worry about the Empire as far as like titles and stuff. So I don't know how that works. I don't know. So it's a little chilly in here. I mean, it's like 60s. If you throw a blanket on, that's perfectly fine. <laughs> I don't know what his, what his gripe is. So what I could do here is use this as like a HVAC duct and seal this in. And that way it can just flow all the temp in here. Let me go ahead and do that. Well, I'm not gonna do that, but I'm gonna do this. <laughs> I'm gonna, uh, I'll create these vents here and here. There's not a lot of room that we have to actually work with here. That we actually have to heat and cool. Let's get a nice vent on that. Great. At least I let everything flow from here as far as heating goes. Should be good because this room is a nice balmy 70 degrees. It just has to propagate out. I think there is some radiating heat that goes through these. But <laughs> eh, I don't know. I haven't looked into it that much. When you have to kind of like min-max your life, it's kind of nice to just drop into a game and not min-max it. Just kind of like enjoy it and be like, oh, well, he blew up. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. You gotta look at games that way. Don't let it get your stress levels up. Oh, great. <clears throat> no, but we got a little food poisoning. Two people. Two of these. Oh, there's some gold down here. Where is that? That's not far. I'm a little worried about activating those guys, though, but I want the gold. Give me that. So I'm going to start probably digging into here, and I might make a, pr a dedicated prison back here. That might be a thing I do. I might make this into a corridor. Seal this off a little bit. And turn this into another bedroom and then have this go down here. That might be an idea. Because then I could have people live in the mountain. Let's just start digging a, a line back here. We'll see what we've got. Maybe there's some good stuff in there. I don't know. I do not know. Great. Girl W is getting all that construction done. Donkey is poisoned. You must be a pretty bad cook if you uh, give food poisoning to your donkey. There we go. That temperature regulation is done there. How are we doing? It's bringing up the temp. Good. People won't complain about sleeping in the cold anymore. I hope. Uh, what do we have for blocks? We've got a little bit of slate. We've got a good amount of marble. I don't want to use marble for <laughs> this wall. Uh, I don't mind using slate. We've got a bunch of slate out here. So let's start uh, walling this off. Structure. Let's go to a slate wall. And we're going to wall off to... Uh, I think I'm going to go to here because I don't like that there's a little gap in that. for now it's gonna cause a pathing problem so maybe I'll leave like one little hole and that way we'll funnel anything into there great oh look at all that food now I'd like to get to the point where I have like a throne room back here and all that oh man just build it into the mountain what is that noise 
Well, that was weird. A whole bunch of clicking. I'm going to go ahead and start building some marble sarcophagi. Let's get a couple of those going. The sheer amount of time I lose in productivity in this game just from people getting food poisoning is astounding. Now right now it's because of incompetent cooks. It is dirty too, but yeah, yeah, this is a problem. Who is the cook that is poisoning everybody? Is it you? It is probably you, JT. Jeez. Jeez. The old tired runaways. Wonder why Cahibrium wanted me to betray them when they're not actually enemies. That's kind of strange. Like, I would get it if it was one of these guys, but that's odd. Oh, great. We got a cold snap coming through. Thanks, Randy. Start gold. Oh, it's over here. Duh. I know about this one. You didn't really strike it. You kind of saw it already. What are we looking at for a cold snap? 36. This might kill all my plants. Fortunately, I've harvested a good chunk of them already. Well, not really one of my colonists. It's one of my refugees. How's this guy doing? 6.2? We're almost there. Alright, so we haven't really struck anything back here. Oh, there go all the plants. <laughs> That's the sound of Randy Random screwing you. We're winter coming. Actually, we're in winter. Man. It's kind of like right now. I'm recording this on Sunday. <laughs> If you think about it, like everybody's complaining about cold snap. Oh, the cold, cold blast. That kind of crap. Dude, it's just winter. Like you get cold, cold temperatures in winter. It happens. Although cold is a very relative thing. Like for me, I've been in negative 60 before and I still skied in it because I was like, man, there's nobody on the slopes. This is awesome. <laughs> and then you know, do one run and have to go inside to avoid frostbite. But nowadays, like, I'm not acclimated to that anymore, so I don't think I have the same tolerance. Or when I spent time in Africa and it was like, <laughs> it was like, it dipped down to a real chilly 70 degrees. People were putting on, like, winter coats. It's funny. It's just different acclimatization. Ooh, it is chilly in this room. I'm going to go ahead and build another one of these space heaters just to cover my butt. And that should be able to heat this up. And we can always just turn it off later. One of the things I've done before is I've taken the heat from this and tried to channel it through here. So that way it would, I could, you know, use that heating to kind of like normalize the base without having to have a bunch of space heaters. It kind of works. I don't know. I don't think this game models things like as in detail as like Oxygen Not Included and Space Station 13 and those kinds of games. I just find it interesting. How is his construction? Oh, he's getting up there. Almost to 11. He might get there on this one. Almost there. Oh, he was so close. So close. He'll build something else. It's fine. I think they've cleaned up a little bit of this. Park is done. I get into organization, which means as soon as they're done organizing this stuff and restacking it, that means cleaning happens and research. Great, I really need research done. Looks like he dinged. Good, he's working on crafting now. Pants are done. That's some fur pants right there. Blue fur. Oh, good. This is finally getting done. Man, this is great. 
As soon as I say that, <laughs> auto save kicks in. As soon as I say that, Randy's gonna throw some crazy stuff at me. Because that's, that's what the Randy do. Let's go ahead and take out that. Uh, Ibex Doe. We'll go hunt a couple of a gazelle. I would love to get some muffalos. I feel like that would be a great thing to have. And we'll hunt a grizzly bear. Because he's going to be a problem. Especially in winter. Like, they start to get really hungry. And then they start eating your pets and your animals. And then your people. <laughs> so, <laughs> got to watch out for that. Slowly whittling this guy down. Oh no, food binge. Well, bye. Buy prepared meals. It's a good thing I'm going out there to hunt. I guess I'll hunt a muffalo or two. Do I do two? Yeah, let's hunt one more. We'll get a we'll stockpile a bunch of meat in here, and it'll be great. Early morning hunt for Grail W. Having the long gun is probably a good thing for hunting. That way you don't anger the entire herd. I always hate it when you're like hunting something big, like a herd of elephants. You're trying to just take one because you want the elephant. And then, uh, yeah, you anger the entire herd and your dude just gets trampled immediately. It's always terrible. Got more organization. JT's on it. Keeping it clean. Good, we're getting rid of all this stuff. I don't know how you sweep up uh, dirt. Good. She's done eat me out of house and home. Well, I think we've made pretty good progress. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and call the episode there. Eventually we'll get this done. Hey, there's a uh, there's an alpaca body. We're going to take that. I started mining out here. I want to turn this into like a prison maybe or something. Maybe I'll throw the prison back here. It's closer to the food source. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see where it goes from here. I'm trying to keep this like an organic playthrough and not really super planned and stuff. But hey, thanks for joining me, folks. Take it easy and, uh, well, I'll catch you next time.